we will we will start our jury NL today, and jury NL and uh, you see this on this map. It's a very we are a very strange country. Uh, we are we are living uh, below uh, sea level, and that below sea level means that we are um, getting the water by windmills up 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 on on the dikes. And that is a very, very old system in the 17th century. Yeah, we, we did yeah, this water, and that means that we had to work together. We, as the Netherlands, we have to work together. That is more or less the start of Dutch design. The start of Dutch design in the fact of working together. Factories and craftsmen are working together to get something done. In, in jewelry, is that less uh, uh, visible because most of the jewelers they're working on their own. What we want to do is we we introduce each other yeah, by ourselves, and uh, we will start with Chiquita. Well, hello, welcome. Uh, well, as Ruth said, my name is Chiquita Nahar, and I've been working in jewelry since, uh, well, how long now? I think 20 years. And, and I brought um, a piece, which was the first, shall I show it? That is, yeah, that is really good. Thing. I will show it. It's um, the first piece I made that was um, related to my, uh, I will show it like this, then I know. That you will see it, yeah. That was related to my background because I'm from uh, originally from Suriname, and I wanted to include, incorporate my uh, well symbolism, but also the things that uh, I knew when I was growing up during uh, in the Netherlands. That was very nice in the Netherlands, but with uh, Suriname parents, and uh, so I incorporated some of the. Uh, symbolisms we had in and have in, uh, in Suriname and for instance the, the garnet is a very well-known thing that you receive as a young child when you are born to protect yourself so that's why I incorporated all these garnets um, as a kind of what is it, talisman a kind of uh, gris gris jewelry that uh, you would uh, take with you and to me it represents yeah my background but also Thank you, Ted. <laughs> it also represents the way that, uh, well, it's symbolism, religion, but also um, the way people think uh, what jewelry could be and how you can communicate with it. And to me, that's very important that jewelry should be worn on the body, or, uh, I mean, you don't have to wear it as a piece, you can also take it with you. So that's very um, interesting, I think. Yeah, what do I need to say more? Is that okay? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I want to I, I make you a little bit confused. Okay, yeah. <laughs> because afterwards you did also some other words. Yeah. And I, I really highly appreciate this piece. Yeah. You made a fantastic wide series yeah. of this and it was completely about different. different, the opposite of this yeah. dark yeah. 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 Uh, more yeah. more uh, tribal tribal, yeah, more. tribal yeah. thing. You start to create that series of. Uh, awesome. I it's yeah. also, but it's also about it. But it's a different. Uh, you know, four years ago, five years ago, I got really sick, right. and, um, and then I. Uh, when we use white, when I use white, it's uh, about cleaning. Yeah. It's about. Uh, it's about being. Uh, well, taking a new path in your life okay. and uh, the white represents um, fresh uh, pureness and it's also possible for you as a wearer or mm -hmm. as somebody who wants to have it to wash the piece, wash the jewelry oh. in the bath and this bath will give you, uh, will give the piece color and that's, that's what was, oh wow, nice. this whole collection was about that. Nice. So that's why I also had these little balls, we call them color balls, I don't know what the English word is, but um, where I had like blue water, blue liquid, and you could wash, literally wash your piece, and then it would get uh, a, different a, a different color. Is it also by your sweat? Yes, as well, yeah. Wow. yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you, thank you very welcome. much. You're welcome. Ted, yeah, you're the next. Yes. 
And can people see me? Oh, yeah. I don't have oh, to put. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, we, oh, we have three. It's fantastic. Oh, it's... <laughs> we have at the moment three uh, ways that we can see each other. Yeah, fantastic. Great. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Ted Norton. I'm a jewelry maker since 30 years almost. Um, mainly, I'm not interested in jewelry. That's why I come to strange things. Uh, I'm not looking at jewelry because I think as a jewelry maker, it's better to look at clouds, other pieces of art, read books. So finding the the main stream of jewelry, you should not look into jewelry, only look to the history of jewelry. So look at the tradition of the jewelry, look at the, where jewelry comes from. And one of the pieces that I always wear in my purse is this piece, which I think is the most interesting jewelry piece humankind ever made. We call it the wedding ring. And the funny thing is that the wedding ring is accepted all over the world and is the most boring jewelry piece there is, I would say. So this keeps me going. I try to make uh, reinterpretations of uh, traditional jewelry because this is very traditional. I try to make reinterpretations re of it. And my main teaching uh, is the light, not, is my makeup not doing No, your makeup is not nice enough. Yeah. Not bright enough. Oh, you want to make me even more fat, Rudy? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what I'm looking for is, and this is also what I try to teach, I teach uh, students, is that we should go back to that tradition, but in a new code. We should stop making all these beautiful things that we call brooches. You know? I think that is the, the killing part of where modern jewelry found its, its own death, because we all started to make compositions and we fell in love with aesthetics go to the roots of jewelry and come up with a, uh, re with an interpretation that fits this time. The technique, material, etc. Can I ask you something? Can I, why are you not wearing your wedding ring? I'm not married. I'm not, I'm not married. Not married. <laughs> no. wedding ring. I don't know if Sometimes when I go ah. to a place and I don't want to be hassled by girls, you I put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a very, 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 very interesting question to you. Yeah, you choose this piece, but this is a very, very traditional piece of jewelry. It is. How does it come that a dead noted, who is known about this, is making a piece of yeah. that? Yeah, I, um, I think this was a it is a sentimental piece. That's why ah. it's called "Home is Where the Heart Is." Yeah. These are leaves from uh, plants in my house. You recognize this yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the Belgian Catatonic uh, yeah. uh, yeah. So. Sensitivia. Yeah. So these are. Uh, uh, it's a very boring piece because it's made from these typical Dutch thing, plants we have in houses. And I think sometimes it's necessary to make a, a good mistake. Okay. No, but uh, but, but uh, the painful part is then when somebody buys it. Oh. Yeah, that's the that, problem when you make a mistake that people say it's a that's good it's thing. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure. But, this, right. but this, is the, this is, can you say three words about this little princess? She's called the princess, and it's a necklace. And this was a game between who is more beautiful, is it she or the wearer? Because when the woman who bought the piece wears it, when she comes on a party, people say, oh, she is so lovely. And then the woman, she is like, oh, thank you for the compliment. No, no, I mean the mouse. Yeah. So I like to play also with these standard Things like also the stupid story I told when I don't want to be hassled by a girl, I wear this, no girl will hassle me, you know. So I like to oh, play. For that reason, yeah. It's, 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 
So I like to play with these standard, um, I love it, standard things that are connected with jewelry. And I must say, it's a pity, and I understand why. No, I did that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We go to busy. Yes, hello, everybody. Um, I'm interested for many years in the intersection between jewelry and objects of uh, life, of daily life. And also the question for me, so what else in life is as, as precious in what way as jewelry in a classical sense? And for that I have like several collections nowadays since, um, well, I, I'm a jeweler since uh, 2001, I think. So since that I have a couple of uh, collections and they all more or less play with this uh, intersection of uh, jewelry and objects of daily life and, and in what sense can they be as important, as precious, as decorative, as um, uh, central, whatever, as jewelry. So that's more or less uh, what I'm busy with. This is a collection from uh, 2013, uh, The Daily Delicious, and the question for me arose for yeah, in what sense, or how can I bring objects like natural products on the body and what is, why is it there? I mean, how can I wear it, how can I wear them and why would I? Yeah. Can you explain what it is? I oh, oh, you have it with I you, wow. I have uh, one with me. So it's actually just this. Um, this pleasure of going to the supermarket or to the market and shop, look, feel objects, not objects, fruit and vegetables, pick them, choose them, and maybe also try them, imagining what they would do, how I would prepare them, how I can wear them. The way how I make them is actually the, um, it's a man-made nature, so in my sense. So I really try to, to um, uh, construct them in a very typical human way, and it's made by electroforming. In that sense, um, it's growing a little bit like nature, but it's totally man-made also in the way how it is sculpted. I, I, I love this. Uh, I love this uh, piece. But here we see it worn. Yeah, mm -hmm. also fantastic. It's a very. Uh, I like the picture very much. It's very very uh, nice way of presenting your work. But this piece is uh, for me uh, uh, completely gazim. It's 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 a distraction. It's it's Dutch. It's yeah. You are not coming from the Netherlands, you're coming from Germany, but you're living already for a long, long time here. But it's fantastic that you destroy yeah, yeah this uh, well say say, the, say uh, our okay. heritage, our our really yeah, blue, yeah, Dutch blue, and then make a piece of jewelry out of it. And Honestly, the most beautiful thing is on the moment, when, because I know the pictures, but I've never seen one in reality. You never have? No, and then, <laughs> and, and then, no, and then, uh, then a client of you came up and she showed me that really strange corner where it sits on the table and there it was a completely other thing. And I really yeah. appreciate it highly that you okay. even choose there to go through it. Really. One correction yeah. in history, mm. the, the blue paintings, we stole it from, the, from China. the Chinese. Yeah, yeah. 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 sure. <laughs> All right. And, okay. And then Don't the, change history. No, and then, and then the and Japanese stole it from us, yeah, and so it's, exactly. going, it, it's continuing going on yeah. stealing. From, from stealing one from the other. But maybe you but can say one again, thing. It's, um, maybe it's made in the Netherlands, but it's also kind of German heritage. Mm. Because Everyone in Northern Europe somehow has 
or every family probably has some pieces of, uh, of this Dutch uh, dark blue and has been collecting it. Story, My yeah. whole grandmother kept had so oh. it's living with yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> And for me, it was much more this appreciation for, for, for another thing, mm. which is worth to be worn on the body. Yeah. How no, did you that, take it out? Cut by hand? With a no, <laughs> with no. No, 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 no. I, I had my own tools made, yeah. and it's a kind of uh, hollow drill, which also would need from oh, yeah. stone yeah. stuff. Yeah. But then it's like made for my material. All right. Much All right. Very, very yeah. nice. Thank you very much. I like uh -huh. it very much. Lisbeth, we go to you. Yeah. Um, so, my name is uh, Lisbeth Wiske, um, I'm a Belgian designer, but uh, I live in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam, at the studio here. Um, I have a um, background in cinematography as my first study, and I worked a few years as a journalist, and um, I think you still see it in my work that I did something before I went into the jewelry field. Um, I'm currently teaching at the Rietveld Academy um, at the jewelry department and I'm uh, doing research at the uh, St. Lucas in Antwerp. Yeah. So I still combine Belgium and uh, the Netherlands. And um, the work I would like to show, or actually um, my work is mainly about jewelry. So I do make wearable work, but I'm actually more interested in the cultural and social ph phenomenon that jewelry is. For example, in 2015, scientists discovered eight, sea, uh, eight clouds of sea eagles, uh, which were uh, hanged on a string by the Neanderthal. So it means 130,000 years ago. And actually, that discovery made uh, jewelry uh, into the oldest symbolic expression of mankind. Yeah. So, I, yeah, for me, that's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's great. It's it's uh, it's maybe the essence of jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, and the work I would like to show is also uh, about jewelry. It's a series of eleven posters, blueprint posters, and it's called Blueprint of an uh, entire jewelry collection in eleven pieces. And it all started with an online article of the Gemological Institute of America. Mm -hmm. And they published an article, and the article was called 11 Pieces Every Woman Should Own. I thought, like, oh, I was quite intrigued by this absurd list. I mean, 11 pieces, why not 10? I mean, 11 yeah, is yeah. such a strange number. There were some were with stones, others were without, but they were all, mm, uh, yeah, they were all presented by the gem by a gemological institution. And I was wondering, was it okay for women with no men, no men involved? Or maybe do we have to pay? or? So that was a starting point for me, and um, so what I did, I made uh, one poster for each uh, piece of jewelry, and the uh, pieces arranged from classical ones, like a pearl necklace, that earrings, to more modern ones or contemporary ones in society, not in contemporary jewelry, but in society, like a cocktail ring or a statement necklace. And uh, of every piece, I made a line drawing, um, a drawing out, uh, out of lines, so it's like uh, back to the basic, all ornaments are left um, are left out, and at, behind that there is like an elaborated piece as an example you could purchase. And the technique I used is blueprint, and that's uh, what uh, architects choose to copy their drawings mm -hmm. until yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the copy machine existed. Yeah. I want to ask you something about uh, uh, about jewelry because I had uh, for a long, long time uh, a tough discussion with uh, Siska Mackert, mm -hmm. You know, she's now professor in in uh, Nuremberg, uh, but she studied at the Rietveld Academy, and she was always talking about jewelry. And I said, no, it's no jewelry. I was really fighting, and you come up directly by the about. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by the about? Um, because as preparation you asked me like uh, how do you think about jewelry and I was like okay huh, but what do you mean do you mean contemporary jewelry do you mean traditional jewelry do you mean the wholesale of diamonds and so yeah the topic um, so and I thought oh that's actually also the answer to the questions I mean jewelry is such a, yeah the, I was um, there are so many approaches to the field so yeah to say jewelry 
um, yeah, you, you you kind of touch all those different aspects. It's a very broad topic, and I think, which I agree with uh, with that already mentioned a bit, that we kind of lost all the different layers and different approaches towards jewelry. The meanings have the rituals that are involved. Um, the sources where it comes from, um, emotions, the emotions. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. And it's true, jewelry has more connotations yeah. with humankind than art has. Yeah. But in the, after the Renaissance, we were the kings in the Renaissance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in the hierarchy, in the hierarchy, we were on top. Yeah. But, uh, of course, we lost position because we are craftsmen, and craftsmen, they fall in love by making. And we lost the intellectual fight yeah. with, the, with the art people. Mm -hmm. And slowly, we, we, we were... We devaluated we 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 it in the market. Well, not in the market, in the, in the ranking. And I think uh, we should change that. Mm -hmm. For sure. We have to. But it's that's why, it's, I, that's it's why I walk the, around with guns, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Ruth, uh, who are you? No, I, uh, one more question to Lisbeth. Um, I, uh, I, I've seen these pieces, and, and, and for me it's uh, urban, uh, urban jewelry. Yeah. So you're about and the urban and and can you can you explain a little bit about the urban? Uh, yeah. It's I earlier, think. but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, about context as well, I think. Yeah. So uh, um, the urban environment or the public domain is um, the context that uh, I've used for this work, and it's actually it's everyone context because everyone makes use of the public domain. Um, so in in, yeah, in that sense, it's great, uh, great uh, terrain to to use. And um, but I think what's important, I've used, um, I've made use of stereotypes of of, of jewelry, um, which is recognizable for a for a broad audience, and they can relate to you. If you work with stereotypes, archetypes, like I do quite a lot, you immediately have heritage. You have stories. You have um, you know people who are wearing it. You maybe have it yourself. So it's it's immediately uh, there are links to to your thoughts and, and, and okay. so yeah. Yes. It communicates, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it communicates, yeah. Thank you very much. Rudy, tell me something about your brooch. Yeah, I want to say, I want to say something first about okay. that. That is uh, there in the exhibition. Um, oh, I do something wrong. Or not? No. no, no, no. There um, well, I um, I made this series of uh, Tehran. Uh, last uh, year and year before, uh, I have a big problem with my uh, feet to stand on the ground. That means that I'm very uh, wobbling. I'm just coming from the phys physiotherapy therapy because they had to help me to stand on the ground again. And that means also that uh, when when because when you are standing on the ground, the energy of your body is going into the earth. That is, it is a certain kind of uh, energy yeah? uh, level what is connected yeah? to the earth, and that's for me a disconnection. That means that my brain is all the time uh, all, uh, flapping up, and I'm really try to yeah? try to concentrate on getting better stable feet, and uh, so uh, I had to work on that. Yeah. For, for, for a per period of two and a half years, I made only feet, feet, which I get crazy of feet. And I made them in, in foam and silver and in alabast and in ceramics. And like I choose a piece to discuss with you, and my intern choose a piece for me. So I thought, yeah, that was okay. nice. I didn't want to. I did not want to uh, make a next step for myself. And uh, so she chose this, and that one is also uh, sold, sold, and it's in America. So I can't show it, but I can show you this one. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's an um, it's an 
alchemistic prince, no, it's an alchemistic Jewish principle, it's the tree of life, called the Sephirot. It's a symbol of uh, eight, um, no, 11, 11 circles, 11 spheres, who are related with a path to each other, and each thing is a, an emblem merged to a god. It's Jewish knowledge. And what I did, I have been this, I have a high respect for the Sephirot, and I wanted to try to create my own belief in it. So I started to uh, demolish and destroy, yeah, more or less, the structure by doing things or adding things on top of it. That's what I did. So I'm a lot with alchemy and so on. We come to inspirations. Yeah. I ask, I have to explain <laughs> to everyone. I have to explain the audience that uh, we. Uh, I ask also everyone what is happening at the moment, or what is very very important for you at the moment in the Netherlands, yeah, as a jewelry, mm -hmm. as a jewelry maker. What inspires you? And um, it's very interesting to to see because I well sometimes. We are not discussing this. No. That's the problem because we go to a gallery, we go to an opening, but we never discuss why yeah, we like it. And even we never discuss it with the artist itself. That's mostly the most problematic because it's hidden. We don't want to have yeah, any confrontation. And I think it's the fantastic thing that we are now here together and we can yeah, discuss things about what we like and what and maybe what you don't like yeah. Yeah? and that's what I really highly appreciate. Well this is um, this is something which uh, drew my attention uh, like three months ago and I see a lot of jewelry because I also go to a lot of places, a lot of exhibitions and um, actually I was really um, well was a little bit I was disturbed by what I saw and what I see around in the jewelry field, thinking like, what are we doing at the moment and what is happening because I also teach and I also um, see a lot of new youngsters who are making uh, jewelry. But then I saw this piece which is from 1948 yeah. from Alexander Calder and every time I look at it, it's really well, I'm really, um, how do you call it? It's really se I'm really sensitive to the piece because of it's so... Um, what, what is it? It are cufflinks. Cufflinks. So oh, the, right. the first thing I saw, thought was that it were rings. Yeah. And then I thought, like, no, it, it are not rings, what, but what is it then? And these are sold actually for 40,000 euros. Oh. And that was the other thing that struck me because... Because it's uh, gold. Yeah, it's gold, but and it's Alexander Carlo. But yeah. it's also from a, an, a not a jewelry designer. So yes. that is that are several things that um, <coughs> caught my eye. It's not by a jewelry designer. It's sold for a humongous amount of money, and uh, uh, humongous. I mean, if you look at the galleries, uh, there are only several, a few people who sell. If you look to the art world, it's not much. Exactly, but that's the thing. So that was also the other thing which I saw. In the art world, it's not about, um, it, it, it has a different, it uh, is a different, you said it, hierarchy. It's yeah. like. Yeah, um, I, want, I, want, I want to discuss this because there are a lot of uh, 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 jewelry made by artists. Yeah. But I have to say, Calder is the only one. Who is good? Yeah, yeah, okay. All the others okay. are making shit. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's yeah. Really, yeah. They, exactly. make, they make really yeah. awful pieces. There is a museum in the Netherlands and they have all this. From Picasso. Shit. Picasso. From Picasso. Exactly. And yeah. they have at the moment they have an exhibition and there is ceramics and this yeah. all this jewelry. Cool. And it's boring. But it's that's so boring. Exactly. Yeah. But also yeah. the thing that I was really uh, uh, it appealed to me because we as jewelry designers, and you already said that you have the art field, you have jewelry field, you have the design field, and uh, there is this, um, how do you say it, um, mix 
world of where jewelry is now uh, connecting to fashion, it's connecting to all kinds of other world, but still when I see this, it's very uh, fundamental, it's elementary, it's, it's, it's just so, um, how do you call it, so... Archetype. Archetype, it's, it's really, and I really love that about this piece, so, and then I was looking around and I was like, okay, what appealed to me? And at the moment there is so much going on, but also there's nothing going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the thing that, the, for me, it was really d difficult to choose a really new young piece as she said and to me this looks very young very fresh even though it's made in 1948 very basic, yeah. very basic. Yeah. Yes. and so it appeals to everything we already yeah. said yeah, it's, 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 that's why i choose this one thank you thank you very much we go to death oh i already did my story <laughs> about this um do you want to continue or you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, going back to what Shakira said, uh, I tried to get in contact with uh, Cipriano, she's called, the gallery in London. And she runs big names from the art field. And these people, they make jewelry which has nothing to do with jewelry. And, uh, but it sells. But they're not selling the jewelry piece. They're selling the name. Yeah. So I asked Cipriani, uh, can I please come up with a piece? And she said, who are you? I said, my name is Ted Norton. I'm a jewelry maker. No, thank you. <laughs> Not at all. Fantastic. So the market is shifting. Huh? They're not looking at the work. They're looking at the name. I very, very made a piece for her from concrete iron in gold, which you could say, all right, at least he thought about it, there's a message behind, uh, but still an easy message, easy to go. But, I mean, it worked. For him, I would say, yeah, this is legal, what he's doing. Um, uh, uh, Ted, what, no. is, what is legal? That's an interesting thing. You, you come up with the word legal. Yeah. Are there unlegal things? I find it unlegal that uh, uh, a drawing made by Picasso, somebody brought it to uh, a jewelry maker and says, please make this in gold. And then there's unread made by Picasso. I mean, that's illegal to me. It has nothing to do with the spirit of Picasso. It's just a trick to make money. Um, of course, we also have tricks, right, Rudy? We also do things which are tricky. <laughs> he says yes. I mean, it was not on the time, but he did like this. So, sure, okay. Sure. We have our we have our, our own uh, tricks, and <laughs> we are walking into strange. Yeah. The only thing that um, disappoints me in jewelry people is when I saw the piece from Damien Hirst, the skull. Mm -hmm. That I thought, God damn it, we should have. Yeah. That. But, is there any gallery who has 16 million to spend and to invest in a piece like that? No, we don't have money behind. And this is also the painful part that the conservative jewelry field with diamonds and gold has 10,000 times more money around than the art world. Mm -hmm. And this and I, still... I, I, I want to say about this still, because I've, I've found it a... Uh, uh, Public relation thing. Of course, when he, when he came part up, of the no, 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 no. But it was it came up and it was a public relation thing. I then I thought I have to go. So I was going to the Rijks Museum. I came into the space. I was I was completely amazed about the piece. Yeah. But even more amazed when I looked to my neighbors because the light reflection mm. in those diamonds. They make a skull and a dead body from my neighbors, and that was that <laughs> was that was the, the crazy piece of it because they were so it was bling bling reflections no, and this di di blue di di and, and, and fantastic. You were, everyone was pale, yeah. completely pale. I didn't go. Because I was you. I was angry. I didn't go. I, Why were you angry? Because I didn't come up with that idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that's a noted reaction. <laughs> yeah. A noted yeah. reaction. I agree. 
everybody is own identity, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I think in the, in the presentation, you can really good use of, of how you can present jewelry and make it precious and mm. lift it up. Oh. And so he, he kind of understood it's all these small. Uh, yeah, but still, I mean, languages. Yeah. Um, Jeff Koons also has yeah. made jewelry. You could say he's a businessman or he has been a businessman around him, but he didn't. Yeah, he didn't understand yeah. or grasp what jewelry is about. So, yeah. well, I guess. so in that sense, I, I but it's like, it needs a long study to be yeah. a jeweler. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. there's well, such a yeah. huge history and such a huge. It's not an knowledge. easy. It's not an no. easy thing no. to make. It, it takes ten years before you come up with a good jewelry piece. Don't think that it's just a hobby thing. For some people, yes. This is also what. But why do you find it frustrated? Because you feel attacked in your profession, or are you? Well, you could also say, look at it and learn from it and use it in yeah. use the good things when yeah. you learn it. Uh, yeah, I think. I'm if doing there it. are good things, yeah. you're learning. <laughs> I'm learning. Maybe go to uh, the beginning. Well, when Ruth asked us to, to uh, propose uh, something new and fresh for the jewelry field, especially here in the Netherlands, I was a bit um, uh, angry, actually, because mm. I'm really fed up with this um, young and yeah. new all the time. Um, I mean, there are good things made, mm -hmm. that's perfect, and I really, I'm, I'm interested in what young people do, and I really like to look at it, and it's really not about this, but it's much more about this, um, my own philosophy maybe also, I really appreciate when um, colleagues, when jurors, when artists, whatever, really dig deep in their own field, when they really do a research, which is not like a one night, well, like <laughs> when I said, which is not like a, if it's work, actually, it's really work. And that's why I choose uh, Inke Heerkens to show to you. She's the Dutch one from my, um, Dutch lady from my generation. Actually, we studied also together. And I really appreciate her work because she's um, really doing so profound research in whatever she does. And even though, I mean, she, in the last years she chose uh, ceramics as her medium, it's a whole cycle of works around um, shifting masses, about how to create forms with your hand, by shifting, by moving mass. Um, but in between this cycle, she's really going so precisely, so deep into color, color shapes, into the material itself, into the shapes, um, all the things, of how to good make jewelry as well. Like, I mean, okay, you choose a, a material like ceramics, which is very fragile. How can you also connect it in a in a in a way that it's wearable, that it's still um, answering its its, its um, demands of being on the body? So that's one thing. But then also, I choose this piece to show to you. I mean, it's one of the pieces from last year, I think, which she. Finished. It's coming from, from that series as well. But here, um, she used the the Fab Lab at the European Ceramical Work Center in in Den Bosch to um, scan her hand to um, to manipulate the form, the shape of her hand, to reduce it in in, in form uh, in, in in size. Um, well. Like really using the the modern techniques which are available for this uh, medium. I don't see that. Hmm? I don't see that this was really. Uh, uh, no, the, mo the mold the is mold. the mold is made. Yeah. The mold is made in 3D, and it's a way. It's a shape which you can't you could do make it by hand. I don't, I don't see the difference. Well, the, well, in the, you like it. That's. Good. Then, furthermore, yeah. I mean, she she uh, digs into the the, fab lab, uh, not, uh, the textile lab from the Text textile museum yeah, she combines things. to to make her own um, threads mm. as well because it was not like that existing, and she mm. used she needed several yeah her own oh, yeah. Or special yeah. techniques yeah. to to make it. So this whole research around 
around her work. I really would like to. But is it then? To if I to you. could ask. It's about. That's very interesting because the research it also uh, relates to how artists work. Yes. Because artists, and that's also the thing that when you dig in, dig deep into a research, it's, it's you get a more how do you call it? It's, it's solid work. It's a work that has meaning. Work that is. Uh, that. It, it, yes, it has that, and that's what. That's uh, what I want you to, want to do. That's yeah. what I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. So I really push that. that, that, that. that. Yeah. In whatever discipline. Yeah. I really can appreciate that, that yeah, it's not only the concept, it's no, also, also the material, the material yeah. and it's also the technique and it's also oh, it's bringing it together. Yeah. Ability as well. The, as the the jury, jury. It's a yeah. vulnerability of course, yeah. very much. Well, it's there's very a the the, the, the necessity of yeah. the craft. The craft yeah. Yes. That you can have huge ideas, you can have huge research, yeah. but yeah. on the end you have to make it. Yeah. And the making is uh, a big, big part of that. It's a good piece, mm -hmm. and this is of course the risk of this uh, generation that uh, people work on their computers, they design on their computers, they can make beautiful illustrations. But when I say, "Okay, now start making it," oh yeah, I just buy some wood. I buy some. Some wood, I said, there are 10,000 pieces of wood. There are 10,000 ways to treat wood. You know, this is what is missing. You know, wood wood is, a, uh, is a big problem, I think. In, uh, that's why I understand that this is uh, a beautiful piece. But there's also a risk in the romantic, in the romantic the romanticism of the craft. Yeah, sure, but that's, that is yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the other yeah, part. Exactly. Yeah, that's it's the other, other part. Yeah, but so, yeah. but but I think always it is about the harmony between yeah, those things, about the concept, the thing, the making, and yeah, and I think yeah. and lose and losing partly in between yourself by the making and yeah, creating the, and the seeing. Intuition. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. And only the intuition yeah. can come up yeah. if you make conditions. Yes. And make hundred ten hundred times a piece because yes. otherwise it will be not easily. Oh, well, you have to make it one time. I can make it ten. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's about all this news in between. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So no, but uh, but uh, they want to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To, to point out mm -hmm. that this is a big thing. No, I think injury. for me uh, the question when I came up and. Ask you the inspirational yeah, piece was really and well I have to give some straight yeah. word fresh and yes yeah, and maybe I trigger you by the well, what is fresh? I want yeah for me also I have no fresh yeah. thing for me it's yeah for me it's going about when someone really go deep into the piece and invest in it and make a change and make yeah. really uh, a statement into yeah into this society because so that's fresh. That is yeah, fresh. fresh. Because I think that the, the, the interesting thing is that we, and I, I'm, I'm very proud to be a, a jeweler uh, in this his long history yeah, of jewelry yeah, from the Romans and the Greeks till now. But we are able, yeah, and we are, it is our necessity to change. Necessity. And yeah, necessity. Yeah, so we have to yeah. change. I would love to see, see you. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiration. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a work of a Dutch uh, artist, Peter Paul Potthoven, and um, it's literally and figuratively related to jewelry because it's about a stone, a mineral, lapis lazuli, and actually it connects a bit to uh, his inner story that. It's a research of years. It started in 2012, and it has a beginning. It's uh, the beginning was a book he discovered, but it has no end. So there are different outcomes through the process. So I think it's uh, yeah, it's different. So it doesn't he don't make a, one exhibition or a collection. So he went to Afghanistan um, to the one place on earth where you can actually take lapis lazuli. Um, and he spent there several months and he came back with a few stones and in collaboration, we spoke about that in the beginning, in collaboration with Dutch scientists, he, um, he was able to 
cut off really, really thin slides, and those thin slides uh, you see here are projected on the wall. And what strikes me is that it's he really shows us the beauty and the poetic uh, of the material, of the source he used, literal, but through his work, so not by words, but through his work, it also makes a political uh, um, statement. And um, yeah, so. And what is this political statement? Um, that's uh, the way how people. There are different ones, like how uh, Afghanistan is uh, was is a war in uh, a country um, with a war. So mm -hmm. there is. Um, so it was difficult. They have found ways how to um, transport lapis lazuli, but they also have the power because there's only one place on earth um, who has lapis yeah. lazuli. So, so actually they can control the market. Yeah. And so, um, and but different families work there on uh, at, uh, at the. Market. And he smuggled it out or found a way to bring lapis lazuli to the West. I don't think you have to. Sm it's uh, it's legal. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. There were probably also illegal ways to to uh, to. Yeah, it's not it. like uh, it's not like blood diamonds or marijuana. Yeah. But that's also not so easy to get in the mines. That was something. no, but he spent there. Uh, it, it went there, and he spent mm -hmm. really several months to mm -hmm. get in, in touch and to get in contact and to find the right permissions. And I even don't know if he succeeded. To but he, he 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 managed to do it. So it was a. Uh, a long, uh, long process, an interesting process, which he, yeah, let let happen. And but uh, what I also want to mention is actually in the way he presented this work. This is in uh, at uh, um, uh, in, uh, arts. It's at Vegeteren. and it's uh, where um, uh, a lot of uh, artists have their studio. He made a presentation, but he, uh, he has a lot of. He has really eye for details and for the carefulness he presented. I think it's. Very similar to how we deal with uh, with yeah, you know, you practices. Do, yeah. 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 Do you think it's important that community art should be more involved in jewelry? Is that for you? Do you see? The, do you find this community art? Well, in some ways, social art. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's social. A social part of it. Yeah, maybe the collaboration. I think one of our um, we discuss it also. Um, in our research we do in Antwerp is we're quite self-referential, I think, in our self referential. Self -referential. Yeah. So we, re we refer quite a lot to our own discipline. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's correct. Yeah. So That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think the most important thing is diversity. Yeah. That yeah. somebody yeah. strives for autistic work, yeah. sure. somebody for yeah. contextual <laughs> work, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody for uh, uh, so material work, uh, composition, yeah. I said, but, but this is the problem that, no, but this is the problem that we all, all make uh, this, everyone yeah. thinks like, we yeah. all make these brooches. It stops, yeah. stops about it, but that you are making also jewelry, eh? And also brooch. And also brooch. Of course I yeah. make jewelry. I, I want to go. I love jewelry, oh, but that's not a discussion. Yeah. No, 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 no. The discussion is diverse. Okay. That, and the, the, no, the discussion is, I think, I, uh, the, the intensity by what, how, the way how you make it. So it is that the, the not only by the yeah, way you make yeah. it, but no, the that, way you research, yeah, the way you think, sure. the way you. Yeah, no, but that that one not only the hands, but but completely the whole process of thinking. I think we need questions. I want I want questions. Questions, please. Questions. Oh, uh, well, the 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 okay. point is this: I I was um, researching for myself who who was at that moment uh, for me personally uh, in, uh, an inspiration, and I came by uh, Yang He. She is coming from uh, from China, study in the Netherlands, and uh, did a, 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 a statistic investigation. Uh, on the little back yeah. day, by uh, 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 ready-made materials, where she started to make jewelry out, and I found it. She had a totally other approach on jewelry than others, and I highly appreciate the way she moved into the jewelry field. What was not an easy thing, yeah. and now I am very, very. I'm, I'm, I'm emotional thrilled by this piece because 
what she is doing is exactly where have been three months in Japan and the Japanese, they borrow landscape. They borrow a landscape to get it into their own garden. So they're, yeah, they, 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 the, the landscape around the garden is also part of their garden. What she does is that she borrow the landscape to bring the landscape to the body. To the body. So, it, so just your surrounding starts to become one with you, and I, I, yeah. I, I it, highly appreciate yeah. it. Is it the stick that hits her t-shirt? No, the other way around. The other way around. So the you have a movie so, of it yeah. where she, um, yeah, where she yes. cuts oh, yeah. the, the branch into a pin, and, yeah. that, and this is actually the final or result. Yeah. result. Oh, yeah. I think the result is also yeah. the yeah. result yeah. of the yeah. way it is. But I think, for I, for me, it's, it's so, um, what I what I like on this piece, it's 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 a, it's a very in, in one way a very rational yeah uh, observation, but it has an emotional layers in it. So and then the piece get more depth, and that's what I highly uh, uh, highly uh, appreciate uh, by uh, by this piece. Okay, nice. Um, are there questions from uh, people yes. around? Uh, you did? Are there questions? Or, or do I have to watch yeah, go the chat? Go to the chat. chat. Go to the chat. Yeah. To the chat. Yeah. No questions? No, I yeah, think chat. Chat. Maybe there's nothing. Maybe there's it doesn't no work. Question. No, no question. When people ask mm -hmm. Can you ask a question? Uh, OK. Um, Can you ask a question? Well, I, I, have, a, I have, <laughs> have a question. Do you have a question? Yeah. See if it works. Yeah. No, no, by yeah, having we have a whole audience. see whether it works. <laughs> we have 36 people, people from all over the world who witness our uh, talking. <laughs> and it's a pity that actually, we don't see you guys. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Good. Come hey, up with hey, a question hey, for I, a I have, a, I have a, um, a question to Ted. I hate tattoos. I <laughs> oh, never oh. want to have any uh, thing uh, that that will be I have only once times pierced my ear and I and I'm no, very happy problem. that it's over <laughs> that it's over that it's closed. Not that cock <laughs> never really I'm no. disappointed in uh, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to ask you uh, can you show us uh, your wonderful uh, hating tattoo what I hate you hate I tattoos. Hate, but you, your tattoo is yeah. fantastic. Show, show, show us. Oh, this is my tattoo. And can you tell? Can you tell something more about your tattoo? This tattoo, uh, I made it. I uh, had it made five months ago. I must be honest. I found it on Google. So thank you for the guy who made the drawing. I think he's from LA. It's a wolf, and uh, the wolf is uh, filled with Da Vinci. And Leonardo da Vinci's uh, typical uh, circles. You could also say it's the universe, there are planets. But I think the main part for me is that it resembles my twin brother who uh, died a long time ago when he, he was born. And for my whole life, I had the feeling I want something for my, that symbolizes my twin brother on my body. I even thought maybe cut off a finger, or but that was too radical. I think this is it. And he walks with me. And I am sure that the words that I make are not only for me, they are also for him. Yeah. Thank you, my twin brother. There was a very nice word, radical. You, your thoughts are very radical, but your outcomes are less radical. How does it come to my radical, my thinking's are radical, but my world is very sensitive. Is that what you mean? No. You are moved on the fantastic way. What do you mean? Yeah, I want to ask that too. You mean that his work is not that radical 
in its in its outcome as no. he no, because I think when I, I look at the, 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 the ideas of Ted, they are brilliant. Yeah. They are very uh, stroking into what's happening in the society. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. But on the moment when I look at a piece, then it becomes sometimes very, very beautiful. Oh, the aesthetics of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. Oh, yeah. I do that on purpose. Why? Because I want to communicate. So the door yeah. I create is humor. It's aesthetics, and when people come in the room, I come up with the message. So, this is uh, uh, my marketing uh, uh, way, yeah, yeah. because I want to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, and I see the contradiction in it, yeah. but I think works should have contradictions. Mm -hmm. uh, and works should have possibilities that more people can see different things in it. Mm -hmm. This is what I strive for, but that's not the truth. I mean, if you make a piece yeah. and you say, I don't care if somebody understands it, fine. So let's please go to a space in our minds that everything is possible. So I don't believe in trends. I don't believe in... Not no. everybody screams about community art two years ago. No, I don't was screaming, you should go back to the, to the craft. craft. Go no. back to yourself. The power is the place inside yeah, it's you. In you. Yeah. But, but don't go autistic. So don't go to no, 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 no. <laughs> but I, 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 I honestly, I believe that the power is inside of people that they have to dig in what is their own source yeah. and what. You want to be an artist. Yes. Yeah. When you when you really yes. want to make things and when you really want to create things, then you have to. I don't know. I oh. think one of the things. That out there, awesome. out there. Yeah. I think that's actually we don't react on any social environment, social issue or political. Even uh, yeah, if, if I don't agree. No, do. yeah, you do, but not a few. A not few, enough. I yeah. would say a few. Um, no, no. Not enough. Not enough. Yeah. I mean, Perfect. if you look at design, you could say, but they there they do. Is. They really do. Yeah. And, and, and art, they, they also. Also. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and uh, yeah, I think so there are yeah. ways to yeah. react on it. Yeah. 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 So Makes maybe sense. I don't know if we should go. Yeah. It's, it's probably a combination because, yeah, you have to signal. I'm sorry to interrupt, but <laughs> the discussion was about Dutch jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have one minute. Shall we say, Ruth? If you doesn't. say in, in, in a haiku about that jewelry now, for me, that jewelry is the, uh, the unbelievable uh, diversity. You are not Dutch at all, you are coming from the upper uh, Limburg, and it's not Dutch. <laughs> so I'm the only one here. She is from Suriname. No, but I'm Dutch. Germany. But I'm Dutch. Suriname is yes. Dutch. I ask for, <laughs> you're, I ask a for you're from a tribe. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're from Belgium. You're going to try Belgium. Belgium tribe. The only, the only one. I'm, 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 I'm for a haiku. No, That's really a haiku. <laughs> Come on. That the diversity is the quality, and the, and that is okay. the quality. You're a haiku. <laughs> Can it be also a physical? Yeah, Ruth, I think we have some questions that oh, need to be questions. Wow. Finally. <laughs> but how Tom. do we see them? Where are the questions? Go the to top. questions tab. Yeah. To do, um, Press on the orange. Yeah. Oh, there, there. No, no, no. No, oh my god. Uh, now we have a problem. If you want to make a bit bigger, then you can see and you can quick chat and you can make a bit Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh, Jurgita. <laughs> Who is asking? Oh, oh many a, questions. Oh, my God. God. No, 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 no. Do you think that, do you think artwork is about jewelry should also be considered contemporary jewelry practice? Contemporary jewelry practice. Do you think artwork that is about jewelry should also be contemporary jewelry practice? What do you mean by contemporary yeah. jewelry practice? Is it about... Yeah. I want. I decided not to answer the question anymore. But yeah. I'm a designer. I'm an artist. Exactly. I'm a yeah. Designer. I'm a. I'm a I mean, um, that's we're too, we're, we're too small. Yeah. So 
Yeah. You're a maker. You're a maker. We yeah, are a maker. maker. Yeah, we yeah. are a maker. Yeah. Make a slash tinker. Yeah. Who do you yeah. think about the new phrase, Herr Lieber Ambacht, the new cross for 3D yeah. printing? I don't think that's it. No, I no. hate it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too, but it's not a new cross. We should use new technology. Yeah, but that's different than new cross. And the, pers that, the person that is making the 3D drawings yes. should be taught yes, some craft exactly. feelings and then this yeah. is what I do. I had a girl from Poland and I teach her how to look as a craftsman and, exactly. and feel material and she made the 3D printed I did which are very good. Rudy so says no. No I don't I don't I don't say you're a romantic I, I, fool Rudy. We, we cannot that ignore modern, modern technology. I don't say that I ignore modern, modern technique, but I see that it's for, mostly, for me, it's poor. And it's, uh, I see seldom that right. someone who is, who is going with this 3D printing, that they go through it and find new languages in it and that they are becoming... Most people do copy-paste, copy-paste. So and that is not interesting. Yeah. Next question. Next this question. one. Hi. And, uh, Ask about the term jewelry. It's actually not a jewelry what you are talking about. About the term jewelry. It's actually not a jewelry what you are talking about. But you are still using this word. How would it be possible to name, name the pieces nowadays? Jewelry. Well, it's not jewelry. It is no. jewelry. It is jewelry. Yeah. We are talking yeah. about jewelry. Okay, that is jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Because the fact is that jewelry is from every nowadays, and the jewelry from the Greeks and the Romans, they are related to their time, and every time has to represent their own way of thinking, and their own way of yeah, developing. And that is that jewelry nowadays is what you see, yeah? Uh, but actually, it's an interesting question yeah. that yeah. she thinks that, that it's, it's not, not jewelry, yeah. so it's actually something good to think about. Yeah. I guess. So what is so it for her? What is it yeah. for yeah. her? Yeah. Yeah. She's an art critic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but maybe I don't know. Yeah. So she maybe. looks in a different way. Yeah. But I think it's about jewelry. Yeah, it is but, jewelry. Yeah. But, yeah, but the word jewelry is the word jewelry is polluted. I think that's true. That's the thing. Because. Yeah. Uh, so many things with diamonds and gold, which are marginal and most people wear, are not interesting. No, but also the thing, I've researched that contemporary jewelry, as you say it over there, contemporary jewelry, as you look it up in the internet, you will get the most uh, variety of jewelry and also, how do you call it, not jewelry, fine jewelry, uh, it's about uh, accessories. So I agree, contemporary jewelry, these terms that we use, uh, I think we should just lose all the terms with, in front of jewelry, because mm -hmm. it's jewelry. Yeah. So it's not about contemporary jewelry, altered jewelry, uh, artist, artist fashion jewelry, jewelry, fashion jewelry, it's jewelry. And well, it I, I, matter. I, I, maybe uh, there is a relationship between the word jewelry and the, and the word photography. Yes, in photography, mm -hmm are all kinds of different ways of photography. It, you can make a shot by yourself, yeah, and there are art photographers, and there are uh, photographers uh, making photos for uh, the papers. All kinds of different photography is there, but it's called all photography. It's all photo. And I think in that case, I believe in all the diversity of what is in jewelry. Yeah. But most people have a wrong. They still, when they think about jewelry, they think about a diamond yeah, and some gold. Exactly, yeah. And this but comes from the fact that jewelry partly was investing, and if there was a war, you could take your money with you as yeah. jewelry. As jewelry, yeah. I mean, but do something with that. That is interesting. But I do agree because you said that you yes, should you. stop making brooches. Yeah, that's what somebody asked now as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yes. We should stop. Yeah. I wonder what did you mean? Well, you're telling me to mention that we should well, stop. I will, I will, Bigger brooches, yes. Yeah. No, that's I mean, good. That's what I was telling. That I do understand that yeah. people don't see that anymore or don't read it as jewelry, jewelry anymore. Because yeah. it doesn't have any relation with um, 
traditional. The tra yeah, 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 or the and all the icons, the icons yeah. and but all the layers that you can find in jewelry yeah. because it has yeah when it yeah. Well, they're little, they're little uh, aesthetics, mm. and which can be beautiful. But why should you call that jewelry? Put it on the wall, and it's beautiful. But there are exceptions, of course, no, like, like this American uh, woman. Uh, uh, there is yeah. someone who is asking here, uh, right. what is wrong with the brooches? Yeah, we, we just mentioned that. Because yeah. mm. most brooches are just a composition, and they have no relation with the background of jewelry, the history of jewelry. Uh, and the meaning. And the meaning of jewelry. They are just beautiful, yeah. aesthetic compositions. Yeah. And I don't mind if a few people do that, but not when 90% of young people start making these compositions. Yeah. Then we're killing the jewelry. Uh, well, and there is another, another problem is that there are fashions. There is fashion is that a piece of jewelry had to look like, at the moment, like, <laughs> and that is a piece of jewelry. Yeah. Yeah, that's modern, contemporary jewelry. And no, it's not. And that's not. And I, what I hate, and then Mr. from... Uh, Jury, what, Roy, what are you wearing? Big brooch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What is it? It's not... <laughs> I agree. It's not a kitchen made. No. And that's the point is that uh, what is a good brooch? Good this brooch. is a good brooch. <laughs> <laughs> No, but no, the answer but already is given by Ted. What is a good brooch? It's, it's, it should also refer to um, uh, the, the essence of the brooch. And that's also what I say to a lot of students. They just take something and put a pin behind it, and yeah. then it's a brooch. No. So I can say, well, you can put a pin behind everything, but then it's not a brooch. Yeah. <laughs> that's a brooch. <laughs> no, it's a brooch. <laughs> no, it's a brooch. <laughs> so it should be. No, it's not a brooch thing. because there's no pin behind it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but still, it's actually about context. Exactly. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Look at Madeleine Albright. Well, she we get, we get one more question story. about uh, what the, the context of our contemporary jewelry market. Markets. Well, um, there, we had a very, very uh, interesting jewelry scene in the Netherlands. We had, yeah. I say. And people uh, loved. To collect them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we still have a lot of collectors in the Netherlands. Uh, and uh, they're getting older. older. Uh, we have a very, we had a fantastic uh, support from the government yeah. for long, long, long. But at the moment, it's uh, uh, it's yeah. going down, 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 down. Uh, already for more than. We are starving. Yeah, well, we no, that, yeah, that's maybe that's a uh, yeah, that's more or less. More Help less. us, please. <laughs> no, but no. Actually, it's well, true. It, it it's is true. true. The, I mean, the the, the old change. collectors are dying, are dying out. out. The there are yeah, well, you can say it like that. There are only a couple of galleries. Uh, they are also getting older. Yeah. Oh yeah, they will stop in about, five yeah, years. Yeah. In five years, mark. there is no mark in the Netherlands anymore because there are no galleries. So that's why we come to Vilnius because there is the new mark. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, 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 I think the problem of everything is that there is not a new, new young exactly. generation yeah. who stands up and start an other way of thinking. Yeah. How you could bring jewelry yes. onto yeah. the market, yeah. and that yes. would be very interesting. But interesting. I said it already in the nineties. Yet to the students on the Richard Academy, but they but thought. But the interesting thing is that that's so stupid to me. The designers, they do yeah. uh, think about new ways of bringing yeah. their work yes. to the market. So why can't we, as jewelry makers, because designers are, are focused? On the outside, and we are an going in the to the inside yeah. and then yeah. to the outside. Yeah. I mean, our our, our uh, uh, the way we work is different. We go. Well, we're intrinsic. We're, we're introvert. Really introvert. We're soft, in. We are soft, nice people. <laughs> but what <laughs> <Steph, laughs> <Steph, laughs> <Steph, laughs> Okay, you are a softy. I know. Ah, but yeah. On the yeah. other way, on the other way, that's also a quality. Yeah. Of oh, yeah. what is internal in jewelry. So the qualities yeah, yeah. of how we are working, the way we are doing, the way we are working, 
is a quality of bringing that out from the inner to the outer compared to looking what the market was. Okay, but, but that's true, but if you still, if you look at designers, there are also very good designers who do that and who are able to, even though they're very introvert, very uh, researching, they are able to bring that to the market. So why isn't it possible for the younger generation now, or even either, to also be able to do it? It's not, it's, it's not either the one or the other. It, can it has to do with priorities. I thought the market in China would be the new market for new jewelry. But yeah. first people buy a house, yeah. then they buy okay. chairs, then they buy a couch, then they buy a new car, car. then they buy art, yeah. and on the end of all this, jewelry. they buy modern jewelry, but before they bought big diamond jewelry mm -hmm. and stuff. No. And the Chinese buy Chinese art. No Western art. No. Yeah. no. First Chinese. Hey, but I like this question, Under. Uh, Benas asked, uh, what is the worst piece you ever made? Ted. I never made a worst piece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to make it again? I made so no. well, I, th I think so it's important so to make, to so make I want, mistakes. No, I, want, I, no that I want to explain that I make so much shit. My I agree. Studio, I agree. <laughs> my whole studio is full of shit. Because it's always making failures, 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 failures. So maybe uh, you know, a moment there is one or two. And when I look backwards over 44 years, I can point you out. These are yeah, the ones who are going up to. Really? This is maybe I a good agree. One. I think and an artist. This one is starting to get. And maybe that one maybe is a good one. So it's no, I, I agree. An artist makes maybe, if he's lucky, five good pieces. Yeah. Sure. And the rest in your whole life. Yeah. In your whole life. And the rest are. Yeah, but it's it's almost good in the studio, but if you put it outside, outside you then read it sometimes <laughs> and realize, oh, oh, oh. then it's like exactly. this or this or this. So I, I love to make half of them again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure. that doesn't mean sure. that they were bad. No, no, Just, no, no, no. You can no, no. They're they're the word no. bad, the word bad, bad doesn't exist. Or yeah. No, but, but, but I think also what, what a lot of people never look at it is that when you, when you are going to a museum worldwide, yeah, you can see the good Kiefer's, mm -hmm. the good, the good uh, Anish Kapoor's, mm -hmm. by the museums who had a lot of money. But you but see you all the other yeah, museums, but they, they no, you, you see never, them too. Yeah. But you see them, but in, a, but in a museum who had not that much money. money yeah. So you see all the works mm -hmm. going out of the museum, into the, the out of the studio, into the museum, and, yeah. And but they're, at, they're, 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 they're the steps to come to a good one. Yeah. And you see mm -hmm. 10 bad ones and one good one, and then it goes again. Then that one's one good. And I still believe somehow in, in this context. I mean, sometimes yeah. it's really obvious that it's good and good, but, that, mm. but then again, it all relates to the context. It's much more yeah. about um, in what context, yeah. under what light mm. yeah. you look at it. Exactly. Sure. And, and I, I think family. also families are How more. Yeah. Mm. It's, families are always the same. Yeah, and a family, when family. you cut off a piece. Mm. Yeah. You present it there as the big and good one. It's better to have the, the, the relationship yeah. between the family and the brother and the mother. Mm -hmm. The family. You're, you're making a lot of families, yellow families. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> <the> families. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back families. Go 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 more there are still 34 up. people around. Okay, but that's the end. But the worst piece. Go up, Rudy. No, we have this. We have this already. Go up, Rudy. Go up, Rudy. There are a thousand questions. Also up. Honey, there's a lot. No, there's a lot. Guys, a move? Oh, my God. No, no, no it's, it's over. Was it. Ah, okay. So, um, I think, what's the time? We are quite over time. Uh, for me, I think uh, I want to ask you, or I 
want to uh, thank you. So <laughs> I don't want to ask. This, uh, I don't want to ask anymore. Uh, I think it was a, a, a fantastic, lively uh, discussion, and uh, uh, I hate this camera. I don't want to do it again. But I want to invite you for a dinner with a lot of wine to do this guess, this discussion again because yeah. it's very interesting yes. to yes. do yes. this, yes. but not with this. No. Yeah. <laughs> Go away. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.